When I left TV, I, to be honest with you, I've never told anybody. And I think I owe you an explanation because you supported me so much, but I just pulled the plug and I did not give anybody an explanation because I believe I don't owe anyone an explanation. But because you supported me so much for the first time, I'm going to tell you what was my turning point. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. If you're new here, please make it a point to subscribe. Kubango Nakuruarero Nina Mary Luswata. Yes, Mumu Manivurunji. Teta got a lot of, uh, you know, introduction. But if you are new, like I told you, the, the subscribe button is just right there. Mary Luswata, welcome to my show. Do you know how many people have asked me to do this kind of interview and I said no? Why? Uh. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but it's nice to be here. It's okay. very nice to be here. Okay. Yeah. How have you been? Uh, it's it, it's it's I, I last uh, got to know you I think two years ago. Mm -hmm. I think that's when we had you know a conversation right here in the corridors. Though you don't remember, mm -hmm. back then I was still at Urban. How how have you managed to come back and and you know uh, stabilize yourself? Well, when I was. In my high school, there's a man, his name was Professor Lawrence Muchibi. He was my headmaster at Horizon Campus St. Lawrence. He always said to put it plainly, to be as raw as possible and just exactly how he used to say it. He said, never defecate in a place before you leave it. Toyo no na wantu, mm. ngato na ba kuvao, mm. kubanga ojakuli nyawo yono nye. Mm. And so for me, I have worked for two companies. I've worked for uh, the New Vision and uh, Urban TV, and I've worked for Galaxy FM. And both my workplaces have been there twice. Okay. Yeah. When did when did you start? What are the conditions in which you chose kubanga or kola ku TV over mu media? Um, I think 2009. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. You, you wouldn't, you probably don't know this, but Nariku XFM now, well, now XFM then was Vision Voice. Mm -hmm. I, I was a children's show host. Um, Sima, lovely Sima, you know Sima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sima took me through a voice test, mm -hmm. and she said, "Oh, we love you." Um, yeah, but then. I was new to the game and I didn't I, I didn't know what I was doing but you see it helps for women like her like Sima to be able to empower other women because she produced the show when I was there she used to do everything for me when I was there she said no you got this and I was so nervous I there are times when I didn't even say my name or when I didn't even know what to say I would get to a point where it, it would just all black out in my mind and it was hard starting out is always hard mm. <laughs> Yeah, you probably go to your radio gig for the first time and you're thinking, oh my God, your friends think you're a chatterbox, you talk too much, mm -hmm. like you can make a fantastic radio TV show host, but man, yeah. when they switch on that microphone, you just shut up. You yeah. don't know like what to say. Out of words. Exactly. It's yeah. part of the journey when you're starting out. So it's very important that when women in the industry lift other women, because for me, Sima gave me the opportunity and then she also trained me and helped me through. And maybe I've never said thank you enough to you, but you introduced me to the industry. You babied me through it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Katiao Omaze Kola Ku XFM, that was voice uh, radio. Ojo mm -hmm. uh, Crossing Ku Urban TV. Well, you probably know that XFM and Urban TV are same, and our Vision Group the same. Mm. The beauty with the company that I work for now is that there's so many opportunities. Mm. Newspapers, magazines, radios, like digital. You can elsewhere. Yeah, you can work, you can do, you can be at, on every Vision Group platform, right. yes. And so when there was news in the corridors, well, it wasn't in, even in the corridors because I remember going to the notice board and I saw that New Vision was starting mm. an English TV station. Mm. I said, hmm, okay. okay. Yeah, so there was a number, then call if you want to be part of the brainstorming sessions. So I was part of the brainstorming meeting that named Urban Urban. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Exactly. I was in that brainstorming meeting when we named Urban Urban. So I've been there for a long time. And yes, the crossover was that easy. Yeah. If you're watching Mary Lou Swatter for the very first time, I want to remind you that she's that woman whom you used to watch back then. 
I think a few years ago, like two or three, on Urban TV, as she did her game, yali akura scoop on scoop. Atamanyi scoop on scoop right now, ndoza toi na muna Uganda, oba toi na Uganda, oba toi, toi na mukalasi. How did you come, how did the scoop on scoop, ya jete your concept ya scoop on scoop? I know, I've been asked this question so many times, and I'm always happy to answer. Um... I was doing the breakfast when, when I did the crossover when there was this announcement that New Vision was starting at an English TV station. My bosses then thought I was good for the breakfast. So I did the breakfast show. <sighs> I don't know how people do breakfast shows, but Nangi, you're my heroes. TV and radio. Mm. Oh, that stuff is so exhausting. I know because I've done both breakfast TV and breakfast radio. It was very exhausting, but then, you know, every time like a station goes through different rebrandings, different management. So when Bush baby, hi Michael, when he came to Urban, he said, you know what? I think I could better place you. I have this idea I have, and I think that it would be fantastic if you executed it. I said, okay, <laughs> timid as I was, he said, you know what? Get your balls together and let's do this. I said, okay, fine. So he introduced me to the idea of like an e-updates. Me, <laughs> don't care about Ugandan celebrities. Like, I don't care about them. Me, you celebrities, I am one of those people who you would ask to Kenzo. And I'm like, besides enjoying Kenzo's music, maybe that... Yeah, he's a performer, he's a musician. Let me just enjoy his music. That's exactly, I was that indifferent. But then there was a task at hand. And the problem is that every radio, and, every, and I've said this many times, every radio station, every TV station has like a gossip, gossip segment. Mm. So if you're going to go into this already crowded industry, what are you going to bring? You must do something board? different. What is different? What, what is there that has not been done before? And so everyone is a gossip TV host or gossip radio host, but nobody is a critic. Okay, I, I must admit, we have a more critic. But initially, that was the idea to just be a critic, to give everybody something that was not yet on TV, was not yet on radio. And then also, these guys have responsibilities, they are role models, but they were getting away with so much. Yeah? So maybe maybe i was not better placed but i took on the challenge i took on the mantle and i executed it yeah so i, I, I for one i must say that uh I, I used to enjoy you while you do that segment i think i was just getting done with school by then or i was actually starting media i don't remember very well but i used to love the show something that you have not told us we wali totia okuvanti ogenda head on with uh, celebrities what charity said you could ngako fear again i've said this fear doesn't motivate me at all fear what is fear okutia mm -mm. maybe one day omuntu jamu gira kububi akutege wali amanyinti osula wanu akutuseko some harm okuo gira kububi The, pro the thing with the kind of TV that I was doing is that it had so much opinion mm. here. And I used to tell people, I just say what you're thinking, but you're scared enough to say. Mm. Come on. Mm. Yeah, but maybe, maybe not in my language, not in your language. But the truth is, I will say this and I'll say it again. Fear does not motivate me. You will not find me on the streets of Kampala getting scared. <laughs> never. Were no. you never threatened at any point? You know what? Mm. It's interesting. Mm. Besides a few people who and all these were, and I can I guarantee you now, I don't know what you've had. I know there's someone who kept on saying, eh, nakakuba, nakakuba. You know in your heart that you never laid hands on me. Yeah, some chick who used to work for Ebony's Nozangabamuita, Hadija, I don't know, some chick. Then she said, oh, me, I met her, Bali, somewhere in a car. They were going for a wedding. And then she said, nakakuba. And, and I had two friends in that car, and they said, Olimba. And you also know you're lying. The truth is, all of these were like cyber threats. Typical Ugandan way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too much noise on social media. In actual life. In actual life, life they are just dumb. Ah, mm -hmm. to get there. <laughs> but the thing is, mm -hmm. I never ever got any threats to the point of 
wanting me to leave the show. show. Yeah, never. But, but we also understand that you left the show. Eventually. Was it some some people were like, oh, maybe she has been threatened to leave the show? Why did you leave the show? <laughs> I've never said why I left the show, mm. and I don't think I need to say now. Mm. Yeah. You just decided to leave a little, to just take a break. <laughs> I don't like to reveal so much about me. I like mm. to leave the mystery. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you came back and you're now into this. What are your future prospects in the media? I take each day as it comes. Okay. Right now, I am very well taken care of by the new vision. Mm. I enjoy okay. doing salon talk. I am learning a lot because, as you all know, when I was doing scoop on scoop it was just a one-man show mm. i would get onto the show say whatever i want to show mm. and say and go okay. but now i've got guests on the show so i am learning first of all interviewing skills mm. yeah, true. yeah so interviewing skills that's something i have to learn okay involves a lot mm. getting your guests comfortable getting your guests to not feel like you're overshadowing them involving them in the conversation as much as you can mm. and then People have always said, hey, we thought Mary would be asking these guys very hard questions, very hard questions. It doesn't matter. Okay. These are my guests. They are on my show. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, as we wind up, let's just, let's just get to know uh, five things about Mary Swata that possibly anybody out there doesn't know. One, I'm a mother of two. Very beautiful babies i'm a mother to a girl and a mother to a boy my my daughter's name is kyla she's almost three my son's name is omri <laughs> omri is almost one and a half i absolutely love mothering like if i were asked to choose between anything and being a mother this is my biggest joy in the world i would give up anything to be the best mother that I can be. If I was asked to sacrifice myself, there's nothing that I would not do for my children. I would kill you if you messed with them. That's the reason why you don't, you've never seen my children's photos. Well, one of them, when, when I gave birth to her, the very first one, I sent the picture to a friend and they circulated it. And that's okay, because they were just excited. And I've never ever even been pissed about it. But you've never seen my baby's faces because I personally believe, and this is another thing you need to know about me, I believe that children in the social media spaces should make the decision to have their social media accounts by themselves. When right, very cute, nice chicks, yourself for likes. Yeah? And that's just my opinion. But you can do anything you, can do anything you want with them, but that's just me. Yeah, I absolutely love soup. I have friends of mine who say Luswata no more pizza a Japanese ako soup. Yeah, so if you ever invited me, just say. Eh, gamba gamba it's together na kola soup in Japuja ni mukazi muganda muganda nyonyo 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 ne dira muti makabiro mawo wolo njagala nyo soup. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wotu gambi ava na. Then soup. I enjoy mothering. Ah. I, social media and show yeah, yeah, but nah, Duke, but, uh, <laughs> I can't give you so much about myself really okay. yeah but then also the other thing is that I am not one of those people who believes in social media being something that should determine how you live your life mm -hmm. yeah in the Togena Kunsalida Chakola yeah and I think that that has been one of my biggest strengths. Toge na kunsa lida kuhonti, luswato ino kubeda okola shobo yeti neweti, obawa ino kubeda no msaja neweti neweti. Msaja jari, muno oza mbu nezala muabana. Jari. Na hii just toya gala mutu kula. Na hii, si, si, ebyo, ntetebi india, muabanja gala. Nga nange muagala. Ku social media, unteka kwa wachi. Yeah? And that's just me. Gwe bubango sanga comfort, mwami wo okubeda ku social media. That's By you. all means, do it. Nayanganze. So, so, the social media, I don't take it very seriously. That's why if you want to engage into a social media war with me, you're wasting your time. Yeah? In the social media, everyone I meet, I tell them, don't ever take social media that seriously. Do what you can do with it. Abantu babedo kungabano nya business ideas, golio koli muku yombe na Yeah. That's very good. Uh, yeah. So, when people, when you decide that, go get a data wo kuchokereza abantu 
that's about you. That's up to you. Nzabo nali nchoke de zabantu because some of you say that. Nzabo nali mfunamu. Ngan sasa rwa blunch. Yeah. Neka tigo mfunamu tia. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank what atugambi mm -hmm. inti bulijo ye waloku banti akola similar interviews inga jetuba dena yo. But we are very help, uh, grateful inti onako luwa ledo asazeo na hulachi na tuwa interview. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah because I believe that I don't owe anyone any explanation. True. That's my mantra. I don't owe you any explanation. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us today. Dance Duke is my name. I've been hanging out with Mary Lou Suata, the Gossip Queen, the original Gossip Queen. <laughs> Until then, it's a goodbye from us. Hashtag engaged. <laughs> How come nobody knows about this? No one told me that Sylvia was engaged. No one told me. Is it not news? If Alibi proposes to a woman, that's not news at all. But when he's bringing a chivalry to Uganda, oh, it's the biggest news ever. Okay, first of all, I don't know about you, but you know, the thing with money is that it will... If you're looking for money, yeah, I don't know if Sylvia is in love with Alibi because I remember someone told me a story of how she hooked up with some Navy, American Navy guy who gave her a lot of money, took her to the US and gave her a really good life. Overnight, Fumba Yondo was about MES Jari Sato and she came back to her Alibi. So clearly, either Alibi is a man who, you know, because let me tell you, I've told you my encounter with Alibi. It was just one. It was somewhere in Ginger and I don't even think he remembers who was talking to me because well there I was just nobody <laughs> so alibi was talking to me and I was with some other friends of mine but I was for like five seconds alibi was telling me how he was mourning literally about how he had no place to sleep and how he's so homeless <laughs> <laughs> and how oh my god he doesn't know what he's gonna do he has his stuff in the car but he's he feels so homeless so the whole time alibi was telling me about being homeless i wanted somebody to just shoot me or just to find me a shot somewhere in a corner so i just want